It looks like Nancy Mace uh, managed to get reelected, you know, despite the dirty game she was playing with Kevin McCarthy. So, incumbent Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace has managed to beat her primary challenger, Catherine Templeton, in South Carolina's first congressional district. And this is a person who was handpicked by former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, an individual who was ousted from his leadership role thanks to eight Republican lawmakers, Nancy Mace being one of them. And so he was on the warpath attempting to destroy her political career and it didn't work. It just didn't work. So Mace was one of those eight Republicans and it really did come to a shock to many who believe that she was actually McCarthy's ally. Turns out she wasn't his ally and decided to vote against him. She wasn't allied with any of the Freedom Caucus adjacent politicians who wanted McCarthy out. She, she'd called anti-McCarthy ringleader Florida Representative Matt Gates a fraud during the first speaker fight in January. Neither her, her tactics nor her politics tended to the extreme. And then all of a sudden she goes along with the you know, seven other Republicans, the uh, House Freedom Caucus individuals who she's not really, she doesn't really mess with. Like she's not really part of that group. And then all of a sudden she uh, aligns herself with them to oust McCarthy. And that led to McCarthy's wrath, but it just apparently wasn't effective enough. So outside groups with ties to McCarthy ended up pouring more than $4 million into backing Nancy Mace's opponent. Catherine Templeton, by the way, is a former South Carolina cabinet official under Nikki Haley. So in April, McCarthy's Political Action Committee Majority Committee PAC or MC PAC made a $10,000 contribution to Mace's primary opponent, Catherine Templeton. A separate committee, American Prosperity Alliance, where a McCarthy ally serves as a senior advisor, has made contributions to a group called South Carolina Patriots PAC, which has spent more than $2.1 million to defeat Mace. And then there's American Prosperity Alliance. Uh, They've also made a contribution to a group called the America Fund. I love like all of these different arms of like corrupt organizations looking to funnel money to politicians. But nonetheless, um, all of these like various PACs started backing Nancy Mace's primary challenger. But Mace actually ended up outraising Templeton and even received support from the Club for Growth. That's a group that seeks to cut taxes as much as possible. She also got the endorsement from Donald Trump, which ended up helping her out. I think that's really part of what made the difference here. He had posted on Truth Social, It is my great honor to endorse a strong conservative voice for South Carolina's first congressional district. Nancy Mace worked hard campaigning for herself, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you guys get the point. So he obviously endorsed her. And I do think that, you know, throwing his weight behind her ended up helping. So during a campaign stop just yesterday, May said, I hope to embarrass him, meaning Kevin McCarthy tonight. I want to send him back to the rock he's living under right now. He's not part of America. He doesn't know what hardworking Americans go through every single day. I hope I drive Kevin McCarthy crazy. Well, clearly she does. And his attempt to destroy her didn't work. I'm kind of amused by all of it. What do you think, John? Yeah, I I don't know why she is still a thing. It seems like very few people in DC like her. And I'm including both her colleagues as well as those who work for her. Because she seems genuinely awful in most ways. I will admit that she has taken some positions that most other MAGA Republicans will not. She's been willing in some cases to be critical of like Trump after January 6th and Bannon for defying the subpoena. And not all of her political positions are terrible. Like she's better than a lot of them on like marijuana, for instance, and abortion. On an abortion, she's a little bit less, you know, like like toxically homophobic and all that, at least in terms of some laws. But that said, she she seems generally not to get along with most of her colleagues. I don't know what she's really like led on or done. Like, why the fight to save her after all this? And and you know, obviously I own personal issues with her, like the way that she attempted to smear Alexandria Ocasio Cortez over fearing sexual violence on January 6th. Like she's had some like truly horrendous personal things that she's done too. It just, I don't know, it 
in one show that you've put together, we have Jamal Bowman taking a principled stand and potentially losing his political career as a result of it. And Nancy Mace, who just sort of exists there and doesn't really do much, receiving all of this help. And and we, a weird a weird allying of help that she's getting help from like the Club for Growth and Donald Trump, even though she's insulted the MAGA movement and Trump hates Club for Growth. I know it's just it's a weird alliance sort of saving her political career. Yeah, and look, the one thing that she understands, and this is, by the way, something that has been disclosed by her staffers, is the power of media attention, which we're kind of giving her right now as we talk about her. But she wants to be in the media all the time. And she understands that at the end of the day, name recognition is everything. Because most Americans, and I don't begrudge that this is the case. This is just the fact of what it's like to live in America. Most Americans are freaking struggling to make ends meet. They're not doing what we do for work, right? They're not knee deep in political issues, looking at the records of these politicians to determine who's the best candidate for them. You know, name recognition really does go a long way for a lot of American voters. And so I think that her willingness to engage in various stunts, including ousting Kevin McCarthy randomly out of nowhere, helped get her name in the headlines. And as a result of that, I think the name recognition helped. I think Trump endorsing her helped. And the fact that she outraised her primary challenger certainly helped as well. So Kevin yeah. McCarthy seemed to be incredibly you know, flaccid as House Speaker, and he remains flaccid as someone who's no longer in Congress. Sorry. <laughs>